Swiney Bozo. Yo, it's the future in now. Yo, it's some dash. You hey, man. This is Heat Hustle, man. What I've been teaching nine times ten, the problem child. Tune in to GFG TV. Be normal. You're now tuned in to GFG TV. As you tuned in to GFG TV, you know what it is, man. And you're tuned in to GFG, you know what I'm saying, TV. Tap in. Uh, you're now tuned in with GFG TV. West West YouTube, it's your boy Big Ray West. You tuned in to GFG TV. Hey, man, we tuned in to GFG TV. Uh, it was. Wrapping up here, we uh, just went over a little bit of uh, food spots. What about a dream car? You had a dream car? Hell yeah. A motherfucking uh, SS Monte Carlo. That always been my dream car. And I could have had one probably by now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Like the 80s Monte? Yeah. SS? Like yeah. an 85. Like an 85, the two-door. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because back in the day, we had a, we had a uh, Mexican homie, man. He had an SS, man, and he had he had beats out of this world in that motherfucker, man. And we were some young dudes, and we, we used to just love being able to get up in that motherfucker. It was like a privilege for us to be able to get up in there, you know what I mean? Yeah. But sometimes the older homies used to let us roll, and we'd be in that motherfucker. And man, shit, me and Flo, nigga, we'd be in the back of that motherfucker. And same man, if he was there, you know what I'm saying? Be in the back of that motherfucker like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Try to be tough and shit for the yeah. older homies and shit. Like, <laughs> shit, we here too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so, what's, uh, what advice would you give a teenage uh, version of yourself if you could? What advice would I give a teenager if it was me? Like, man, first of all, the gang shit is stupid. That shit is dumb as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, regardless, like, me and my guys, we just gonna be homies regardless, whether we got into a set or not, you know what I mean? All that shit would just bring extra drama on us, you know what I'm saying, really, you know what I mean? And uh, and also, man, uh, ain't no guns in prison, you know what I'm saying? There are not no guns in prison. So you niggas running around here shooting, shooting shit up and trying to shoot motherfuckers up and shit, yeah, all right. You know what I mean? Ain't no guns in there. You're going to come from here. You know what I'm saying? And nine times out of ten, a lot of y'all ain't going to do that. You know what I mean? Because motherfuckers in there, they don't care if you they don't care if you got six motherfuckers right there with you. If it's on, it's on. You know what I'm talking about? Period. You know what I mean? And like I said, ain't no guns in there. You just going to have to whoop me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? So... But I, I would, man, I would do a, I would do a lot of things different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would definitely try to be on the straight and narrow. I would try to, I would have tried to had uh, stayed away from the gang shit, man, and motherfucking uh, shit, square up, really. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't ashamed to say the shit. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers be calling that shit square. I call it handling your business and staying out the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I tip my hat to motherfuckers that ain't never, they ain't never been locked up and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody that, anybody that got locked up and went to prison, you failed. You know what I mean? You failed at whatever you was doing. You know what I'm saying? So, it's time to change it up. But some people just learn. Some people got hard heads and some people just <coughs> learn a little, a little later than others. You know what I mean? And so, yeah. What uh, does the word respect and loyalty mean to you? Everything, everything. I mean, man, respect and loyalty. That shit is like that's at the forefront of everything. Cause we all want to be be respected. You know what I mean? And that's just how it's gonna be. Motherfuckers gonna be respected. You know? I'm coming with respect. I'm gonna come with respect, and I expect you to do the same. But if you don't, then it's gonna be an issue. You know what I'm saying? And loyalty the same way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you uh do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> do I believe in love at first sight? Yeah, I believe in that shit. I believe in it, but man, you got to be uh you got to be a whole 
different type of individual for me to believe in love. You know what I mean? I mean, for me, I don't know. That's that's deep. That's a deep question. <laughs> love at first sight, man. I don't know though, man. Because at first, when you see a motherfucker, you know everything might be all good. You know what I mean? And you think you got love at first sight, but then you start finding out shit about motherfuckers or they start treating you different or you start treating them different for whatever reason, you know what I mean? And then it's like, damn, was it really love at first sight? You know what I'm saying? Or was it lust or was at first it lust? sight? Or was it lust at first sight? You yeah, feel me? That's a hard one right there. That's a hard yeah, one. Yeah, because there's a big difference between love Ooh. and lust. And they're real close to your brain. Like, they're both yeah. right there. Like, they're both saying the same shit. Yeah, because initially we look at the physical. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Most of us. Yeah. Some of us look at, like, 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 as a male, like, okay, what type of what, what type of female she is? How she treated kids? You know what I'm saying? But she got a full time job, a full time career. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause, yeah, but um, uh, yeah, man, that shit is a. Uh, they they neck to neck though. Love and lust is is neck to neck like a motherfucker. Yeah, you gotta separate them somehow to figure that one out. Yeah. Um. You believe? I know you said that uh, you don't believe in, in necessarily religion and all that. But do you believe, uh, believe in higher power? Yep. Only because I know we got here somehow. You know what I mean? Like we didn't just happen. You know what I mean? Something had to take place. And maybe there's a higher power. Maybe there's not. But when it's all said and done, we really don't know. If we're gonna know the truth about anything ever. You know what I mean? Because I mean, we could say or we could think when we die. You know, when we die, we'll find out all the answers to everything. But how do we know we just ain't going to be a carcass in a motherfucking box? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We don't know that shit because we ain't been there. Yeah. That's why that question about talking to my grandmothers, I would, I would want to ask them, like, shit, what really goes on? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, is there really a motherfucking gate? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say motherfucker, of course. But is there really a gate? You know what I'm saying? With with uh, with gold brick roads like yeah, motherfucking Wizard of Oz or some shit? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, how many kids do you have? Four. Three girls, one boy, my son. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you want most for your kids? To be good people. You know what I'm saying? Be a good person, you know what I mean? Treat others how you want to be treated. You know what I mean? Whoop a motherfucker ass if you need to. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, just be a good person. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can do it and you see somebody struggling, do it, you know, help them out. You know what I mean? I want my I want my kids to be good people. You know what I mean? They should be. You know what I'm saying? Their life is way different than mine was coming up. And that's what we strive for, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Any yeah. grandkids? Yep. That's my two oldest got kids. My oldest daughter got a daughter. And my second oldest got a son. You know what I mean? How does that feel becoming a grandparent? That shit is different, man. Cause I'm not ready for that shit. I wasn't ready for that shit. But that, but that's what I get for having kids at a young age. You know what I'm saying? For being reckless out here. You know what I mean? But it's all love. You know what I'm saying? They're beautiful, man. All of them. My daughters and their kids. You know what I'm saying? They, they're beautiful people. My, my kids both take care of their kids. You know what I mean? And, and it's all love. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> it's a beautiful thing. Hell yeah. Any nieces or nephews? Oh yeah. I got two nieces and one nephew. I told you, my sister, I only got one sister and shit. And she got two daughters and one son. You know what I mean? Nice. Shout out to them. Much love. <laughs> if you could send a message to your nephew, as well, what would it be? But that'd be easy. I'd be like, I mean, it ain't nothing that I haven't told him. Man, this man done been back and forth to prison a couple times, you know. But every time he gets out, I've always chopped it up with him, like, one, on some one-on-one shit. Like, hey, man, eventually you're going to have to try to do something different. You know what I'm saying? It's ev- Evidently, you're not good at you're not good at what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to try something different, you know? But he got he got a kid now, you know what I mean? And so uh, he, damn near, he damn near did as much time as me, you know, but different stage, you know what I mean? Like, he didn't do one stretch. He just did a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of different stretches, you know what I'm saying? But I would be like, man, I mean, it's the same shit that I've always told him. Like, man, come on, man. You're going to do something different. You you failed. You failed at that. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, man, it's time, to, it's time to change it up. Do something different, man. And you keep doing the same shit, that's the that's the definition of insanity. You know, yeah. you feel me? It really is. If, uh, <clears throat> if you passed away, uh, what do you think your friends and family would remember you for? Shit. I don't know, man. It depends on what members, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I would like to think that they look at me as a motherfucker with a good heart, you know what I'm saying? That never had bad intentions. That tried to show my face, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I could. Um, shit. That was a father. Like my nigga, uh, my nigga, he said, there's a difference between a dad and a father, you know what I'm saying? As a father, you know what I mean? A good father and, um, shit. And a motherfucker that I like to have fun, too. I mean, I party just as hard as I work, and I work hard, too, you know what I mean? But, shit, I like having fun as well, you know what I mean? I ain't dead yet, so I ain't finna act like that, either. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Well, we appreciate you sitting down with us here at uh, GFG TV. You got any shout outs? Shit, there's a whole bunch of them. I'm going to shout out to GFG TV, of course. Ray West, T Bear, KA, Hillbill, KT, the whole GFT family. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking Bay Bay in the building. You feel me? Motherfucking, uh, nigga, my moms, my Andrew Jan, Uncle Bill, my doc, my kids, all my kids. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Shit, my nigga Flo, my ace, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking Sandman, the Twizzler, you know what I mean? Troop, shit. All my niggas G, man. Motherfucking, uh, shit, rest in peace to Lou and J-Rock. Motherfucking, uh, yeah, all my love was Aunt Betty and them, Uncle Noke and them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Larry, that's my guy too, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I got a bunch of motherfuckers. I can do this shit for like three minutes straight. <coughs> but, yeah, shout out, one love, D-Man, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sitting down with us. Appreciate your time. Shit, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. See me. <laughs>